Most people think that making money is hard, but that's false. Making money is actually relatively easy. The hard part is keeping and transferring wealth across generations. This is what most people have a lot of trouble with, so let's fix that by learning from the tactics and loopholes that the top 1% use to stay rich forever. Here are 15 ways billionaires foolproof their wealth. So first up, we've got index fund investments. Now, investing in index funds is a widely accepted strategy for maintaining and growing wealth. Championed by prominent billionaires such as Warren Buffett, index funds offer an opportunity for long-term investment that doesn't rely on the skill or luck of picking individual stocks. Instead, these funds mirror the performance of a particular index, like the S&P 500, providing a diverse cross-section of the market in a single investment. This diversification tends to reduce risk, making index funds a safer option over the long haul. Over the years, index funds have consistently outperformed actively managed funds, making them an attractive option for both novice and seasoned investors alike. They also come with lower fees due to their passive management structure. The simplicity, lower costs, and consistent returns of index funds make them an important part of many billionaire investment portfolios, illustrating their sustainability as a reliable wealth building tool. Family Limited Partnerships, or FLPs. FLPs are an advanced wealth management strategy often utilized by affluent families to reduce estate tax liability. They function by allowing the transfer of assets from one generation to another, minimizing the amount of estate taxes paid in the process. Essentially, the older generation creates a partnership and transfers assets into it, then gifts limited partnership interests to the younger generation. The value of these interests is often discounted due to their lack of marketability and control, reducing the taxable estate of the older generation. Meanwhile, the older generation maintains control of the assets within the FLP as they typically serve as the general partners. FLPs are a powerful tool for estate planning among the wealthy, providing a legal pathway to preserve their assets for future generations while mitigating the impact of estate taxes. Dynasty Trusts Dynasty trusts are another legal instrument favored by billionaires to protect their wealth from estate taxes across many generations. This form of perpetual trust can, in theory, last forever, hence the name dynasty. When properly structured, the assets within the trust are exempt from estate taxes at each generational transfer, making them an effective vehicle for maintaining family wealth over the long term. The transfer of wealth using dynasty trusts works like this. So an initial amount is funded into the trust and the beneficiaries are granted limited access to the funds. Each generation can use the income generated by the trust, but the principal remains untouched and can continue to grow tax-free for generations to come. Dynasty trusts have been used by wealthy families like the Waltons to preserve their estate and ensure a lasting legacy. Equity Swaps an equity swap is a sophisticated financial strategy frequently employed by the ultra-wealthy to optimize their portfolio performance and manage tax implications. In essence, it involves two parties agreeing to exchange two assets of cash flows, generally linked to the return on an equity index and specified interest rate. In effect, the owner continues to benefit from the asset's performance without technically owning it, which can be advantageous to tax and regulatory purposes. For billionaires like George Soros, this strategy serves a twofold purpose. Firstly, it enables them to hedge their equity risk by swapping the returns of their stock for those tied to a different market index or interest rate. Secondly, it helps in tax optimization, as it can potentially bypass dividend taxes by transforming their nature from ownership profits to interest returns. It is, however, essential to acknowledge that this strategy requires a deep understanding of financial markets and carries a level of risk, as equity swap agreements are complex derivative instruments. Offshore Trusts Offshore trusts are an appealing avenue for billionaires to protect their wealth. They involve transferring assets to a trust based on a foreign jurisdiction known for strong privacy laws and favorable tax conditions. By doing so, billionaires can legally shelter their assets from potential future creditors, legal judgments, and in some cases, hefty tax obligations in their home country. 
However, the functioning of offshore trusts extends beyond tax optimization. These structures can provide a layer of asset protection, particularly in litigious environments. They also serve as a tool for estate planning, allowing for a smoother transition of wealth across generations. It's important to remember, though, that the use of offshore trusts necessitates careful planning and legal advice. Regulatory scrutiny around offshore financial activities has increased in recent years, and proper due diligence is crucial to avoid falling afoul of the law. Investment in Blue Chip Art Blue Chip Art, works by well-established and recognized artists, has emerged as a preferred asset class amongst the billionaire population. Besides the aesthetic appeal and social prestige, investing in high-value art can serve as a hedge against traditional market volatility. As these pieces often appreciate over time, they form a tangible asset that can be a store and potentially an increase of your wealth. The allure of blue chip art investment lies in its resilience to economic downturns. Art's value doesn't directly correlate with a traditional financial market, making it a good diversification strategy. However, the art market isn't immune to risks at all. The value of an art piece can be highly subjective and influenced by various factors, including trends in the art world, the artist's reputation, and global economic conditions. Therefore, like all investments, acquiring blue chip art should be done with due diligence and preferably with the advice of an art expert. Venture Capital Investments Venture capital investments have long been a preferred wealth management strategy of the ultra-wealthy and for good reason. With an eye for innovation and potential market disruptors, billionaires invest significant capital into promising startups, often reaping substantial rewards upon their success. Peter Thiel's early investment in Facebook, for example, illustrates the immense financial gains that can be achieved through savvy venture capital placements. However, it's important to remember that these opportunities are not without risk. The startup landscape is fraught with uncertainties, with many fledgling companies failing to survive the early stages. By becoming venture capitalists, billionaires not only get the opportunity to multiply their wealth, but also contribute to fostering innovation and entrepreneurship. They often take on a mentorship role, offering their expertise and network to aid in the growth of these companies. The potential for financial return, coupled with the satisfaction of contributing to new ideas and technologies, makes venture capital investments a particularly attractive strategy for many billionaires. But as with any investment, success in venture capital requires a keen understanding of industries, market trends, and company dynamics, as well as a well-calibrated tolerance for risk. Purchasing Sports Franchises The allure of owning a sports franchise often extends beyond mere financial considerations for many billionaires. There's an undeniable prestige and personal satisfaction that comes from owning a professional sports team. Take, for instance, Steve Ballmer, former CEO of Microsoft, who purchased the Los Angeles Clippers for $2 billion. Such investments offers the potential for significant returns, not only through ticket sales, broadcasting rights, and merchandise, but also through the potential of the appreciation of the franchise's value over time. But despite this, the purchase of a sports franchise is not purely a financial play. It's a complex investment that requires considerable management oversight, a deep understanding of the sports industry, and often a significant personal passion for the sport. Team performance, fan engagement, and broader market dynamics can all impact the success of an investment. Furthermore, the initial outlay can be substantial and the return on investment may take several years, if not decades. Still, for billionaires who are fans of the sport and willing to navigate these complexities, buying a sports franchise can be both a personally rewarding and a financially lucrative endeavor. Qualified Personal Residence Trust, or QPRT The Qualified Personal Residence Trust is an estate planning tool often employed by billionaires to minimize the impact of estate taxes. The QPRT operates by transferring the title of a personal residence into the trust for a predetermined period. Then at the end of this term, the property is passed on to the beneficiaries, typically the billionaire's children. Now, the beauty of the QPRT is it allows the grantor to use the residence during the trust term and helps to reduce the taxable value of the estate. While the prospect of reduced taxes is attractive, the setup and management of a QPRT requires careful planning and execution. 
The grantor must outlive the trust term to obtain the full tax benefit. If the grantor passes away before the term ends, well, the full value of the home reverts back to the estate. Additionally, any changes to tax laws can impact the effectiveness of the trust. As a result, while the QPRT can be a powerful tool in a billionaire's wealth management strategy, it requires expert advice and careful consideration to ensure its potential benefits are fully realized. Charitable Lead Annuity Trust, or CLAT a charitable lead annuity trust is an advanced estate planning tool that offers a myriad of benefits to ultra-high net worth individuals. At its core, a CLAT is designed to lower a person's taxable estate while also contributing to a charitable cause. The way it works is rather straightforward. An individual transfers assets into the trust and a predetermined annuity is then paid out to a designated charity for a specified term. Once this term ends, the remaining assets are passed to the trust's non-charitable beneficiaries, typically the donor's heirs. This can be particularly advantageous for wealthy individuals as it helps to reduce the size of their taxable estate and potential gift tax, all while supporting charitable endeavors. However, the execution of a CLAT involves intricate legal and financial planning, and the upfront gift to the trust is irrevocable. As such, anyone considering a CLAT should be certain of their decision and should absolutely consult with a professional advisor. Self-Canceling Installment Notes, or SCINs Self-canceling installment notes work as a highly specialized financial instrument that can be used as a part of a larger estate planning strategy. An SCIN is essentially an installment sale, with the distinct feature that the remaining balance is cancelled if the seller dies before the note is fully paid. This effectively allows an individual to transfer assets to their heirs without incurring estate or gift taxes, provided they outlive the term of the note. While the concept of SCIN may seem simple, its execution can be fairly complex. One must meticulously determine the note's term and interest rate, as well as risk the premium for the self-canceling feature. Furthermore, the use of an SCIN can potentially lead to conflicts with the IRS over the value of the risk premium. Consequently, before opting to use an SCIN as part of an estate plan, it would be prudent to seek out some professional advice to understand the full implications and the potential risks involved. Investing in Safe Havens In the world of investments, safe havens refer to assets or securities that retain or increase in value during times of market turbulence. So these are considered low-risk investments that can help to preserve wealth and provide a level of protection against loss. Typical safe haven assets include gold, government bonds, and certain stable currencies, though the term can also encompass tangible assets such as real estate in stable markets or even collectibles. The lure of safe haven investments is largely their ability to safeguard wealth during volatile market conditions or economic downturns. For instance, in a recession, while other assets may see a reduction in value, safe haven assets often maintain their value or even appreciate. It's important to note, though, that safe haven investments usually offer lower returns in comparison to riskier assets in time of economic prosperity. Thus, while they play a crucial role in diversifying a portfolio and minimizing risk, relying solely on safe haven assets could limit potential returns during periods of economic growth. Swiss Bank Accounts Having a Swiss bank account has been a classic hallmark of wealth, and for good reason. These accounts are well known for their strong privacy protections and stability, making them attractive to wealthy individuals from around the world. Switzerland's robust legal framework places a high priority on the privacy of its account holders, although international pressure has slightly eased these laws in recent years to crack down on illicit activities. But despite these changes, Swiss bank accounts remain attractive for their stability and discretion. In addition to privacy, another significant appeal of Swiss banks is the Swiss franc, which is often seen as a safe haven currency. 
The Swiss economy has a long-standing reputation for its strength and stability, making it a preferred choice for investors during volatile economic times. It's worth mentioning, though, that opening a Swiss bank account is not an easy task. It requires substantial paperwork and initial deposits. Also, account maintenance fees can be pretty high, which makes Swiss bank accounts suitable only for the ultra-wealthy. Buying and Leasing Farmland Buying and leasing farmland is a strategy often overlooked by those outside of the billionaire sphere. Billionaires like Ted Turner and John Malone, however, they understand the value of this tangible asset class. Farmland can provide a steady income stream through these lease agreements where the landowner charges farmers to rent or use the land. Furthermore, because farmland is a finite resource and food production is essential, the value of agricultural land tends to remain stable and can even appreciate over time. But as with any investment, buying and leasing farmland has its intricacies. Factors like the quality of the soil, the reliability of water sources, and the potential for natural disasters all contribute to the value and profitability of the land. Moreover, local and international agricultural policies can influence market dynamics. Despite these complexities, though, with the right knowledge and due diligence, investing in farmland can serve as an effective hedge against inflation and provide a reliable income stream, contributing to a diversified and robust wealth portfolio. Patent and Intellectual Property Investments Patents and other form of intellectual property are extremely valuable assets in a billionaire's investment portfolio. Patents give their holders exclusive rights to profit from their inventions, offering the potential for high returns. Successful examples include billionaire Jay Walker, founder of Priceline.com, who amassed a vast patent portfolio that generates significant licensing fees. Yet, investing in patents and IP requires careful analysis. It's crucial to assess the viability and potential profitability of the patent, understand the landscape of similar existing patents, and consider the risk of litigation. IP laws also vary greatly across different jurisdictions, which adds another layer of complexity. On top of that, managing a patent portfolio requires active involvement, monitoring for possible infringements, and staying updated with patent renewals. But these challenges aside, with the right strategy and management, patent and IP investments can yield significant returns, proving to be a valuable asset in safeguarding and growing your wealth. And there you have it, Alexer. These are the 15 most efficient ways that billionaires foolproof their wealth. Now, we're curious to ask, where do you struggle the most with your finances? Drop your answer in the comments below. We're always curious to hear your thoughts, and your thoughts inform our videos. And with all that said, it's time to wrap this up for today. If you found the information valuable, don't forget to return the favor by tipping us with a like and a share. And as always, thanks for watching Alexa. If you'd like to learn some more, hey, check out this video next.